Hello Leos, welcome to Breath of True Tarot and this reading is from 22nd of December to 28th of December. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Leos. Ten of Swords. Death. The Chariot. Three of Swords. Knight of Swords. The Fool. Okay. So here we have the Three of Swords. Seems like you are in a lot of pain and you feel that your life has shattered and you cannot pick up the pieces, you cannot pick up and make it whole and uh, this could be something that is devastating you and you don't know how to deal with this. With the Three of Swords, for many of you this could be about something that you have lost forever. Many of you might have lost your relationship. And you feel like this is an irreversible loss. You cannot uh, um, have this relationship once again. Also, we have the card of chariot here. You might be feeling desperate to do something or desperate to uh, keep this relationship from falling. You will try to save it at any cost. I see that uh, something is really dear to you. Here you see this woman, she is holding a child close to her heart. So for you, this relationship could be as dear as this baby for this woman and uh, you feel like you have created it, you have nurtured it for so long and uh, of course nobody would like to give up on that kind of relationship. But the universe is asking you this question, are you feeling happy in this? Because with the Ten of Swords, looks like uh, this person has given you a lot of pain. This pain could be something uh, that is not, uh, you know, changing. I mean, possibly this person is doing this again and again and you are ignoring this pain because you feel that, uh, you know, this shall too pass and of course, uh, there is this hope that this person will change, but the fact is, uh, can you say something that is not uh, there for you? I mean, this relationship, maybe it's already over. There is no romance or there is no uh, connection in this. You feel like this person is not interested or they're not making any effort. So if it's not there, that connection, that spark, can you save this relationship? That is about something that has ended. And probably you both know that uh, there are a lot of issues and problems and you might be feeling that you cannot be on the same page. So this could be about some kind of sacrifice. Okay. We have this Knight of Swords. It won't be easy for them either. I mean, this person will approach you. They will try to reconcile. First, they would tell you that this is over, this is not gonna work, and uh, you should forget that. And they will forget you, but then after a few days, this person will be back. They would again like to talk. This person can't stay away from you, okay? And the problem is this person cannot change themselves as well. They cannot uh, give you commitment. So they have put you in a dilemma. And you would have to decide something for yourself. With this card of fool, Tarot is telling you that be yourself. If you have some questions, if you have some doubts, make those questions and doubts clear to this person. Let them know what you feel and what bothers you. What makes you feel uncomfortable. The fool is about discovering uh, your own strength. And the fool tells you that uh, you need to be yourself no matter what. Don't be afraid of anything. You have already lost everything that you could. 
So why to be afraid? The fool is telling you that you need to uh, show this person who you are. You need to stand up for yourself. Stop thinking and start acting. That is what the message is. Okay? Of course, this is a general reading. This may not uh, resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and wasn't sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. The lovers, two of cups, ace of cups, and uh, knight of wands. Okay, so here we have the lovers. There was this connection. As I said, that they can't stay away from you. There is some kind of connection in the depth. This person feels that uh, your souls are intertwined or you are part of the same soul. You are just like them. You both reflect each other and you are a blessing that uh, they don't even think they deserve. Okay, with this Ace of Cups, they wanted a doll. But look, here they have these six dolls. And that is what they feel at this point. This person knows that you are much more than what they deserve. This person feels that uh, you are a blessing that uh, they cannot handle. Okay, this person feels that you are too much to handle or you're too good to handle for them. This person feels like they cannot change themselves. They know that there is something wrong and they need to fix it. But instead of fixing that or matching your energies, getting on the same page, they chose to walk away because it was easier. Okay? We have this name of wands here. This could be someone who is really immature and uh, who doesn't respect the boundaries or maybe they are constantly breaking the rules that you two have met. Uh, that you do have made and of course uh, this person is uh, feeling that no matter how many times they break their promise every time they will be forgiven because you've got this big heart and uh, you know they can do whatever they like so that's why this person will be back once again after telling you that it's all over it's not gonna work and you both should uh, you know walk away they will be back again. They would still like to have a conversation. They might drive you crazy. You would feel like why this person is acting like that. Just yesterday they told me that uh, they don't want to be with me or it's not going to work. And the very next day they are again calling you. You would feel like they are going insane. And they will drive you insane as well. You won't understand what's going on. It's going to be quite complicated week for many of you. Okay, but no matter what, the universe is telling you express yourself. That is your job. You need to uh, tell this person what you are thinking and uh, what you feel like, what you expect from this relationship. Okay, and uh, no matter what, follow your intuition. Do not pay attention to your emotions because they can cloud your uh, mind. Do not pay too much attention to the mind because it may miss some details. The thing is, go by your gut feeling. Go by your intuition. If you feel like something is about to happen, if this person is uh, telling you something and you feel like this is a lie, do not trust it. If you feel like this is uh, something that you can trust, then of course, you can go ahead. Let's check an oracle message and see what you can do in this situation in this week. Change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. So, a change is coming. 
and there was this shift. A lot of things will happen, but do not be alarmed. You don't need to be surprised because wherever this road is taking you, you are only going to end up where you are supposed to end up. Okay, so there is no need to be afraid. Maybe things are getting chaotic, but your higher self is watching you. The universe is guiding you. So there is no need to worry about anything. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.